Stolen at birth, found 18 years later tonight, Kamaya Mobley shares her story in an exclusive interview. I mean, who, who are you? Everyone wants to know, have you discovered yourself? Who are you, Kamaya? That's a question I'm still fighting with, because everybody asks me that, and I, I still don't know what it means to answer that. Like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to answer that, really. It has been one year since she was found alive after being kidnapped, and today, Newly released documents reveal a web of lies, while new pictures show a life of love. And these photos show the home where Kamaya, then known as Alexis, lived. Baby pictures, senior photos, and information on how it all unraveled. We will get to that in just a moment, but first, an interview you will only see right here on First Coast News. Kamaya Mobley and the overwhelming truth. Here's Keith and Nelson. <laughs> I just want to know where my baby is at. I just want my baby back. Tracking over 75 leads. Today, University Medical Center is offering a $50,000 reward for the safe return of the infant. I just want you to bring my child back. <laughs> She's no wallflower. When Kamaya Mobley walks into her room, you take notice. That smile matches her bold personality. Because everybody always asks me how you handling this stuff. Because I, everybody always asks me that. Like to be honest, I dealt with it probably uh, better than what people think. Just an hour before a party celebrating one year as Kamaya Mobley and her father's birthday, we sat down in a private section of a West Side lounge. The girl with two names and more mothers than at times she can handle remained upbeat about her unique circumstance. I actually make jokes about that. Like, everybody be like, how's your mom doing? I'd be like, which one? <laughs> and they love it. <laughs> yeah, it's like mom, mom, mother, everybody, everybody, they, they all respond. <laughs> She's smiling now. What I've been through is hard, but not hard enough for me to, you know, be sad all the rest of my days. And what I'm, my future is only going to get better. Kamaya Mobley was kidnapped back in 1998 from a what she's been hospital. through. A baby girl found alive. Kidnapped from University Hospital in Jacksonville in 1998, just eight hours old, Kamaya would become Alexis Manigo. Renamed by a woman who police say posed as a nurse, stole little Kamaya from the arms of her then 16-year-old mother and raised her 200 miles away in Walterboro, South Carolina. Please bring me my baby. Video of this young mother, Shannara Mobley, crying out for a piece of her that would be missing for 18 years resonated with parents on the First Coast, people around the nation, and around the world. Please bring me back my child. How could this have happened? That's all I ask from you is my child back. I've been in a hospital before Gloria, because ain't no way they should have did all that right there. I mean, she shouldn't have been able to get in there and steal the baby. It was his baby girl, stolen at birth, now 19 years old. Their resemblance is undeniable. <laughs> he looks just like me, we look just alike. Still, it won't be easy for this bright young woman who for so long has been living a lie. Do you worry about her? Worry? Sometimes I worry, but when I do start to worry, she make me not worry. She always make it seem like she got it under control. Aiken says at times it feels as if she never left, fitting in seamlessly with his eight other children. This year, Hill, we have accomplished so much together. And I think that partly come by, like I said, with us communicating mm -hmm. and wanting to get to know each other and wanting to fix the problem, you know what I'm saying, and wanting to move on. Moving on. With the help of Aiken's wife refusing to take no for an answer, once Alexis, now Kamaya, has legal documents, a real Social Security card, and is interested in attending Florida State. But while thinking ahead to her own future, she's at times consumed with worry. <laughs> what will happen to the woman who raised her, one of the women she calls mom, Gloria William? <laughs> Okay, okay. I mean, but ultimately for you, for your mom, what do you see happening? What do you want happening? Um, you know, of course I'm not going to say, you know, throw her in jail and throw away the key or, you know, throw her into the jail. Like, mm -hmm. of course I don't want to see so many years, but I understand a crime was done, you know? So I understand some punishment has to be rendered. <laughs> and what about the woman who gave birth to Kamaya, Shannara Mobley? The Jacksonville teenager left torn for nearly two decades. We're working on our relationship. We, we see each other. I have went over there, stayed the night, and stayed a week over there. She's grown closer to her father, but they all desire for Shannara and Kamaya's strained relationship 
to heal. You know, she's just trying to figure out how to put everybody, to make everybody happy. And that can, can confuse a person. My biggest fear, I guess, about, you know, a speedy recovery relationship with her, her and her mother. <laughs> the joy of finding a part of her that for so long she hadn't realized was missing. Does it make you a little sad to think that you missed out on that early on? I don't really like to think about the past. It does sometimes, but, you know, like, I don't like to think about the past. I'm enjoying them now. Like, as we're growing up, I enjoy them now. Since their reunion a year ago, Kamaya has been back and forth between Walter Burr and Jacksonville, but says it looks like Jacksonville will become her home. As for her two names, she actually doesn't have a preference and answers to both Alexis and Kamaya. She tells me she speaks to Williams from jail almost every day. Williams' trial is set to begin in seven days on February 12th.